Diamond Trust Bank CEO Nassim Devji projects that the economy will expand between 5% and 5.5% this year, driven by tourism recovery, rebounding ag agriculture and reduced inflationary pressures. National Treasury Cabinet Secretary Professor Njuguna Ndongo is calling on the private sector to tap business opportunities by creating solutions for challenges faced by the tea and coffee value chains as well as other sectors of the economy. While the economy shows signs of vibrancy, the National Treasury Cabinet Secretary says the government will channel investments into high productive sectors such as agriculture, affordable housing and MSMEs. We should not see our coffee sector collapse, our sugar sector collapse. We have tried to revive the cotton industry we haven't managed, pyrethrum is struggling. All these are low, they are not low hanging fruits by the way, they are fruits on the ground, isn't it? So when we talk about that, that's why I'm saying this is an agenda. It's for all of us to take up some responsibility and fix the problem. Njiguna says the government is keen on economic turnaround and inclusive growth. He encouraged investors to actively partner with the government in pursuit of better and sustainable livelihoods through the use of private finance instruments such as green bonds and fiscal incentives to support sustainable development in the renewable sector. They spoke during the DTB Economic and Sustainability Forum, which projected the economy to expand by between 5% to 5.5% this year. The economy is expected to grow between 5% and 5.5% in 2023, a decent shot above the global average of around 3%. Trevor, Nindo for Lunchtime News.